what better way to get into the festive spirit than to take a flight through some beautiful northern places. And in this video, through the wonders of Microsoft Flight Simulator, we do just that, departing from Reykjavik in Iceland, over the North Atlantic and North Sea, skirting around Norway and Sweden, before landing in Copenhagen in Denmark. You can look forward to some glorious 4K cinematic footage, and of course, you might personally like to take the same flight in the simulator. I'm Farrister, and my channel is all about sharing videos just like this one, so if you're interested in following for this kind of video, you might consider subscribing to the channel, so you can be notified as new videos go live. First of all, I have to apologise if I mispronounce any of the wonderful Nordic place names, but I'll try my best. Our festive flight departs from Reykjavik Airport in Iceland. Reykjavik is the capital city of Iceland with a population of about 370,000 people. Iceland is an incredibly beautiful place, with a rich history and an incredible array of interesting geological features, like volcanoes, geysers and hot springs. Some of those features also contribute to make Iceland a global leader in the use of renewable energy, which provides most of the electrical power for the island. After departing Reykjavik, our flight follows the south coast of Iceland while slowly climbing to cruise altitude. Thereafter, there's a fair distance of North Atlantic Ocean to traverse, which gives an opportunity to talk about the jet. This is the Cessna Citation Longitude business jet, which has been chosen for range and speed to cover the reasonable distance that this flight spans. One of the first features visible from the ocean below will be the Faroe Islands. This archipelago sits about 200 miles from mainland Scotland and 280 miles from Iceland, although actually forms part of the Kingdom of Denmark. With a population of about 50,000 people, the islands are easily spotted from the air due to their rocky terrain which contrasts with the sea below. Shortly after overflying the Faroe Islands, the jet covers the 175 miles to the Shetland Islands. With a population of 23,000, these islands form part of Scotland, although, as with many places in this part of the world, they also have a detailed history of Norse influences. The primary industry of the islands is fishing. The next waypoint on our flight is the Norwegian city of Stavanger. It's a nice change of scenery to be flying over terra firma once again. Stavanger is also the biggest city on this route so far, with a population of almost 150,000. The cathedral in Stavanger is Norway's oldest at around 900 years old. Then the flight follows the southern coast of Norway, flying overhead Christiansen. The wonderful Scandinavian landscape below starts to become more visible as the flight slowly begins to descend. Our final waypoint is the Swedish city of Gothenburg, before turning south towards Copenhagen. Gothenburg was founded in 1621 as a key trading post with a lot of Dutch influences, and is now the second largest city in Sweden. Copenhagen, as our destination, is a wonderful Danish city with a deep connection to Sweden. With around 800,000 residents, it's a beautiful, historic location to finish the flight today. I'd love to make more of these flight simulator spotlights, so if you enjoyed this video you might hit that like button, and let me know in the comments what you think, as it really helps me to know what you want to see more of on the channel. Otherwise, as always, thank you for watching.